Hey guys, it's Rachel at From Moments to Milestones, and I'm here today to put together our Christmas paper pad card kit. Uh, we use the Simple Vintage Rustic Christmas paper pad, a six by eight pad from Simple Stories. These are the cards we're gonna create today. There's seven, and you get the remainder of your pad along with the written instructions, a picture, and the supplies we use to cut the kits. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, here's our first card, Merry and Bright, with a super sweet vintage Santa. Started with that one. And we will start by, uh, we have some images to color. So you have some flowers that are already shaped and colored for you, which is nice. So we're just gonna layer those up. And then you have these white die-cut greenery pieces. And that's what we're gonna color with a sponge dauber and distress ink. So we'll get started with that. Um, I'm gonna use bundled sage. So I got a piece of scrap paper here. I'm gonna lay that down. And I'm gonna start with bundled sage and a dauber, and I'm just gonna lay the color down. All right, there's one. And then I'm gonna do the same on these, I'm calling them mistletoe leaves. And I'm actually gonna kinda come up from the bottom on these, kinda creates its own shading there. So I didn't completely cover. You can see it just gives it some variation. If you want to co cover the whole thing, you're more than welcome to. And then I'm going to grab Rustic Wilderness for the holly leaves. So there's two of those. And then the last thing we have are these three little white berries. Now, these are optional. You can't really see them on my card. I kind of have them tucked in with the holly. And I just used some old paper distress ink on those. So um, I'm just going to ink up my dauber. Um, and these are the same way you could just do one side to create some natural highlights all right and then the one last thing i did before i put that old paper away is i kind of distressed up my this lace die cut piece here. So I'm not going to completely cover it. I'm just going to lightly go here and there. And then it just won't be so stark white. Now if you really want to age it up, you can do that. A little go a long way. Okay. All right. Now that's ready. I'm going to pull out my flower shaping mat just to layer up these flowers. These are heartfelt flowers. Um, the poinsettia and holly clusters, it's an older set. And I colored them with bundled sage and shabby shutters. So I'm just going to take a stylus. They've already been run through the, um, they have a mold that shapes the flowers. So I've already done that. I'm going to go ahead and press in on the centers of those and layer them up. So I'm going to put glue in the center of three. Oops, looks like I got two stick in there. So maybe I have an extra. I do. So one, two, three. And I'm just going to offset the petals and press in. 
So now let's build up the card. So we're not actually gonna put this green piece on just yet because we're gonna wrap this ribbon around it. So I am going to put down the Santa onto that black card stock. And just have a thin black border all the way around. Okay. And then it's going to go off to the left slightly, and then this is going to go behind it. So you can do two things. You can use this as a guide to lay this down, glue it down, and then put this down. Or you could glue this to the back, but you still want to make sure you're not going to put it too close, and then it's going to hang off. Okay? So it is centered on there. I'm just going to put a little glue on the back and center it the way I want it. I've got about half of it showing. Okay, happy with that. And then I'm going to lay it down like so. Okay, so I have my um, Santa on there. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and do that ribbon. So you have one single piece of ribbon. And what I want you to do is just lay it over the bottom of the card. And I got about a half an inch on each side. And then I'm gonna take some scissors and snip it. So, and we're gonna use this in a minute. Just like that, and we're gonna wrap it around. So you can put some Adhesive on the back. I actually have, oh, I thought I did. I had some tape in here. I was just gonna use some scotch tape, but maybe I forgot it. So I'm just gonna use some double-sided tape. I'm just gonna put a couple pieces on the back and it'll catch that adhesive for me. All right, so I put some double-sided adhesive on the back and I'm gonna line it up where I want it. It's about a half an inch from the bottom. I have the middle of the ribbon kind of over that black portion at the bottom of the Santa. I'm just gonna wrap it and there it is. And then before I move on, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this onto my card base and that will help secure the ribbon on there. Okay, make sure my card's open in the right way. All right. So now what we're going to do is take this piece, I'm gonna tuck it under the ribbon we have there, and I'm just gonna tie a knot. Really nothing. Just gonna tie and pull. I'm gonna pull super tight. It's up to you how you wanna do it. And I just kinda have it right there in the center and then I'm gonna finish up my edges. So I'm gonna fold them in half and give them that banner edge. All right, so that part's done. Now we're gonna layer up our sentiment here and our flowers. So I actually have the Merry and Bright up on foam. So I'm just gonna put a couple in the center, a large, couple large foam squares, because I wanna be able to tuck in my greenery. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put that about right there. And then now I can tuck in my greenery. Maybe, there we go. And it's there's really no right or wrong. I have um, that piece coming out of the top. I have the mistletoe here. Um, these, I'm gonna kind of fold them to give them some shape. So then I have 
one there. I'm going to put one flower here and two down here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting those in. And then I'm going to put that flower right there. And you can use um, foam if you want to, but they have enough dimension for me. So I'm just going to, it's really not on top of that Mary and Bright. It's off to the side. That's, it's just right at the edge. I'm going to press it in there. And that will give me the dimension I'm looking for. And then this other leaf. And put down there and then the other two flowers there and there so I'm going to put one off of the Mary and Bright and then I think one might be on it And then if you want to add these holly berries, one thing I'd like to do, I do it later on another card, is I'm going to layer them up on top of each other. And then, um, like in the other card, we're going to put all three together and tuck them in somewhere. But here I want to use them in two different places. So down here, I'm going to put two of them together and I'm just going to tuck them right over that holly leaf so it's a very subtle detail like i said you can leave them off and no one will know but you and then this last one i'm going to put right there okay and then i'm going to finish off this card um, by putting some prills in the center of my flower so today I'm going to use this um, light green. It's called Let Us Entertain You. And I'm just going to put glue right down in the middle. And then just a scoop of these prills inside the center of each flower. And I like to let mine sit for a little bit. And then I will dump off the excess. And I actually never put them on my sample either, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, that finishes off Merry and Bright. Okay, our next card is Have a Tweet Holiday. Another slimline card. And this one has a lot of coloring. Um, all of your greenery and flowers were cut out of watercolor paper. So we're going to do that today, just kind of a different way to color your images. And then these two birds were stamped onto watercolor as well. We're ready to watercolor our two bird images. And so what I have here is a, um, it's actually a little whiteboard sign in the teacher section at the Dollar Tree. And I have just put some Distress Ink colors onto it and I'm going to use them as watercolors. Um, they'll wipe off, it'll clean off easy. You can see the color well because it's on white. You can mix right on there. It um, works out really well. So what I have is black soot, pumice stone, hickory smoke, actually hickory smoke, pumice stone, and walnut stain. And then here I have fired brick, aged mahogany, and then I have shabby shutters and rustic wilderness. Or yes, and I may be using some peeled paint, but I didn't put it on yet. We'll see how it goes. So I have my water brush pen and it's ready to go. And I am going to start with the berries because that's easy. So I'm just going to pick up some fired brick and I'm going to go over all the berries. So I put down the, the fired brick and now I'm going to go back while it's still wet and just kind of drop in that 
um, aged mahogany. And when I touch, it's gonna naturally just drop in there, create some variation in color, maybe some um, shadows. I'm just gonna clean that off of my paper there, okay? So there's the berries, and then one thing with the Distress Inks or any watercolor really, when it dries, it's gonna dry back. So once it dries, I may go back and go, I want that a little bit more intense, and we can always go back and add more. So I'm gonna leave the berries for now, and I'm gonna start on the bird, birds themselves. So I'm gonna go in with black soot, and the more water you use, the more gray this is gonna be, then it will be black. And so I did the top of his head, and then he has this little, I don't know what you call this, this little tuft, and I'm just going to uh, go along that line there and get his back. And then I was looking at a picture of a chickadee within the paper line and kind of trying to see how I could color this to make him kind of feel more like that. So he kind of has some stripes in his wings, so I'm just mimicking that. There's really no right or wrong way to color these birds. So whatever you wanna do. And then, like I said, if you want more color, more intense, you don't use very much water. Use a lot of ink instead. Now with my black, I had to do a couple layers to get it um, the darkness that I wanted. So I'm not going to do his whole back on, on this one. I'm sure one's a female and one's a male. I don't know which is which. And I just tried to keep with some of the stripes just for some variation. And then I put a little bit right there. Okay. I'm going to get my brush nice and dry and I'm going to pick up some black. Really get it dark. And we can put um, gel pen on his eye so we don't lose his eye. So you can see that color really intensified that way. Now, from this back part of his little body, I'm going to start with the pumice stone, which is a little bit of a brown gray. So I'm just going to work that in and slowly let it go light. I'll do the same thing over here. Okay. And then you can always go back and make it darker. I'm going to do that. And then now I'm going to grab this hickory smoke. And I'm going to come in just halfway. And then if you want to mix them to get a nice blend, you can. Or you don't have to. It'll mix together pretty well. Now I want it to be darker back here. So I'm going to use less water and darken it up. Okay, and then I also use this pumice stone, like in the other areas that aren't black, in his wings. Now I, I tried to leave some white on his wing. So in this little area here, I'm just going about halfway. And I'm going to leave some white. And I'm going to do that same thing just at the edge of this white stripe. So I'm going to have a little bit more gray just down here. I mean, you could just keep going with this. Sometimes I like to just touch it in there, and then it gives its own variation. And I'm going to pick up some brown and through the branches. This, what I did forget was old paper. So I'm just gonna put a little right there. And I'm again using a dry brush. And that will be his beak and his feet. OK. 
Okay. I am going to darken up my berries just a little. And one good trick to do that is um, you can definitely go back with some more of this um, aged mahogany. But what I'm going to do is pick up just a little hickory smoke, water down, and kind of just go over it. And it just tones it down a little and darkens it up. Gives it that same gray tone. Okay. And then to finish this off, I'm going to, um, with these grays, mostly the um, hickory smoke, I'm going to really water it down. And I'm just going to kind of get it. I mean, you can barely see what I'm doing here, but I'm getting it wet. And then now, if I want to take some other colors and drop in, you can even pick up a little bit of that black. And it kind of gives it this winter sky background. And you can go as dark or as light with this as you want. After it dries, you can add more. You could use a blue sky if you wanted. And I think we'll call that good for the sake of the video. So I'm going to set those aside to dry. And then um, we are going to open up our little packet of greenery. Lots of little bits in here. Okay, so you should have a couple poinsettias, and I colored those with hickory smoke, which I used a lot of, so I'm actually going to add some more ink on there. So I'm just going to pick up color and color the, and you can go darker or lighter, whatever is your preference. I'll let those dry back and see how they look. Then you should have six, I believe six, yes, yeah, six holly leaves. So I'm going to use rustic wilderness on those. I'm going to water it down. Do the same thing. So I like to cover the whole thing with just a, a layer of the green. And then as it dries back and dry out my brush a little, pick up green and add to it. Happy with those. Okay, then you have these two long pine branches. And this is what I use shabby shutters on. So it's more of a not really lime green, but it's definitely got yellow in it. All right, and then I am going to pick up just a little of the rustic wilderness. I don't want it to be too lime. And you can definitely add that however you want. Okay. And then you have one more, a couple little things. So you, you have this branch here. We're going to color that brown. And you really don't have to worry about the ends. We're going to cover those up with the berries. You have some little flowers. OK, two little things to color. So you have four of them with no markings. And then these four have, like, little cut lines in them. We're not going to do anything to those. We're going to leave them white. And then you should have your six berries, I believe, on our post-it tape, which will be extremely helpful. I'm going to color those like I colored the berries. The fired brick. And then 
just going to get one little side of them with the H mahogany. Okay. And then these flowers here, we're going to use that pumice stone again. All right. It's a lot of coloring, but it is done. So now we can put our card together. I'm just going to put these things up here to dry. All right. So we will start with the white card base. We're going to put down the black. I'm putting the polka dots down if you like them. You can leave them up, but you're really only going to see a very thin portion of them. So I'm going to put that down. And this is going to get popped up, so I'm going to use this as a guide. I'm going to lay that down. And then these pieces are going to go behind. So you're going to have one there, one there, and then this weird shaped one's going to go in the middle like so. So we are good to go there. So I'm going to go ahead and put foam on the back, this red piece. I'm just going to eyeball it. And there we go. Perfect. Now this little piece is going to go in the center like so. All right. That's good. Okay, then you have this white piece and they have a tweet holiday. So I am going to put that onto here just watercolor paper so that it matches the white. All right, and then I'm going to put some foam on the back of that, all right? And then the birds as well are going to get popped up. And that one there. And then we're going to finish up by layering up the greenery and flowers. So I'm going to Offset the petals, layer that up. All right, and it's going to go down here. A couple of these. Like so. Where'd the other one go? Oh, there it is. And glue on that as well. Okay, glue on the flower. Okay, and then I have a couple of hollies and this branch. I'm going to go ahead and put one, two, three, four, five dots of glue my jewel picker and stick those on. You will have an extra and I'll show you how I use that or you can just toss it. All right. And this little guy gets poked in there so Go ahead and put some glue on there, like so. And then once you see where these little berries can land, you can add some glue to help secure it. And then we have a couple hollies, a big one and a little one. these other little flowers that need layered up. So you have the gray ones that we watercolored and then you have these four little um, 
flowers with the score lines on them. So we're just going to, and I offset them. So I'm just going to put glue in the center of the gray. And lay those on like so. I am going to, I want to offset them. Okay, and then I have a small one right next to this flower here. So I'm just going to lay it right there. All right, so that part is finished. And now I'm just going to finish layering up. So down here, I have some um, holly leaves. Put one there, one there kind of right where that branch comes off, and then I'm going to put a big flower over the center, like so. And I'm going to do something similar up here, but I have two, I have two flowers left, so one there, and we will call that card finished. Now you can add I have some prills in the center of that flower. A rhinestone would be pretty. Some white prills here. I'll put a little bit right there. Scoop some on. And let that sit for a minute while it dries. And then one last touch to complete this card. So you can see the difference. Um, I felt like it looked unfinished, so I added two strips of black to kind of ground it so the birds don't feel like they're just kind of floating. You can leave this off if you want, but I do feel like it finishes off the card. So I just have them along the bottom, and they may be a little long, so you might need to trim them. And that card is finished. Okay, our next card is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. All right. A little bit of greenery to color. So we'll get those pieces out. All right, we'll start with, um, we have these two leaves here, and we have the pine and then all the hollies. And these are all going to be colored with um, rustic wilderness. So I will get my dauber. and the ink pad. All right, and oops, I need to do the pine. And then we have the mistletoe. I'm gonna do that one the same way I did it last time with the bundled sage. Do that same thing, come up from the bottom. All right, and I'm going to do fired brick on those and then a little bit of the um, aged mahogany. dark to one side. I'm just going to hold it like so. One. Two. 
three. And then lastly, we're going to darken up these pine cones a bit. So this is kind of the background to it, and then this is going to lay over the top. So I'm going to take some walnut stain and a dauber, and I'm just going to just create, just going to do the top and around the outsides, just create some shadow in there. Okay, and then I'm going to heavily go over the tops and just change their color all together. All right. Now we have this red flower here. If you want to add color, I did not here, but I am going to just to for something different. I'm just going to add some of that aged mahogany to the center of it and it'll be subtle but then it'll um, kind of look like the rest with some of the inking and then I'm going to lightly shape and layer these flowers and the pine cones so let's take a big ball and kind of roll in there I'm not doing a whole lot because these are they have stitched Kind of score lines on there and I don't want them to to rip so just a light hand and then a little circle there and I'll layer those up and offset the petals like so That over there to dry and then that will go ahead and layer up the pine cones all right and then I'm going to layer up those holly berries like I did before so get my jewel picker a little bit easier three on this one all right now we can put the card together so we're gonna start you have this black frame that we actually cut this out of so we're just gonna lay that down onto the white card base Okay, and then we're going to put the red gingham over the top of that. And now no one knows we cut out the center of our card. And then we are going to place this three by four cut apart in the center of the card. And then we're going to pop this up over the top. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down first. Use those gingham as a guide to get it straight. And then I'm going to put foam around that. And lay the frame on top. Making sure Christmas is centered. Oops inside there all right and now we're going to layer up all of our pretty greenery so this little flower is kind of here in the center i'm going to use that as a placeholder so i'm going to go ahead and put in this and we have this big leaf as well and you can always bend them up to shape if you want tuck that in so and then this other is kind of tucked behind there like like that 
Okay, so there's replacement for the pine cones. Make that better. Okay. And then this other leaf is going to come right there. Put that on. And this is going to tuck in behind it as well. So I'm just going to put that there and kind of use that as guide. There we go. And then we have this. And I just like to put a little bit on there until I get it right where I want it. I'm just going to slide it in between the pine cones. There we go. Good. And then we have these holly leaves, which are kind of tucked all around. So you have two bigger ones and three smaller ones and the berries. So I'm going to take two of the bigger ones, glue them together at the base like that and tuck them in back here. Okay, and then I'm going to place those berries in there as well. Now you could use foam if you want. I think I'm just going to tuck them in there like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put down the flower. And then the last little bit would be just tucking in these little leaves here and there, put one here, looks like I've got one coming out of here, I'm going to try to tuck it behind if I can, nope it's already glued down, that's all right, and then I have one more, so it's really up to you, I kind of Thinking right in there, actually, I don't like that dead space. All right. So that is finished. Now you'll notice on this card here I have some glitter on there and what I did was I took some clear glue and I actually took a sponge which I'm not sure if I have here with me so I'm just going to use my finger show you how that works. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on my finger like that and I'm just going to like you were going to put on makeup and I'm just going to dab it here and there on the flower and then what I'm going to do quickly before it dries is I have some glitter this is frosting powder from paperlicious and I'm just going to Put it over there and then it catches some of that and it's got, it looks like snow. And you could even add some more here and there. I think I might just, it's one of those things once you stop you can't, or once you start you can't stop. Put on some more. It's a fun effect. Um, let's see. I don't know if I want to put some there. In there. Well, I'm happy with that. So then when that dries clear, that glue will dry clear and then you'll just be left with the sparkle. And that completes that card. All right, our next card is Happy Holidays. And we have no coloring to do here finally, so this should go together awful quick. And then you do have a little piece of tape in your kit with the dot to your eyes. 
so you don't want to lose that. Looks like that's very small. Let's stick it down over there. Get this card put together. You also have two small pearls, so you don't want to lose those either. We're on a little piece of acetate. All right. So we're going to start by putting the red cardstock. I'm not using the polka dot side. You are free to if you want. Put that down on the on the white card base. Okay. And then we're going to put down the green gingham. We have a thin red border. And then we have this frame cut out of the pattern paper. And I'm going to pop that up. Okay, so I peeled the backing off. We're going to take that frame and just center it. Whoops, not yet. There's really no right or wrong. I just want that at the bottom, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to center that up. Now my frame is on. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the word Happy Holidays first, and then I can build my flowers around it. So, Holidays. And the H, you have two H's. One's a little bit less fancy. That's the one that goes with Holidays. And then there's the Happy. Like so. All right, and then the H. All right, so we have Happy Holidays. I'm going to go ahead and put my little dot on before I forget about it. I'm quite sure I just used way too much glue. Get my little dot there, and it'll dry clear. All right, so now we are going to build up our flowers. So we have some greenery. So you're going to have, you have two sets of these. So you're going to have one that's going to come like this, and then these two you're going to have. One and one, like so. And then we're going to layer up the flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and put this. And you can shape these if you want, but they're also delicate with the score lines. And I don't feel like they really need it. There's so much detail with those score lines that, whoops, wrong way. All else fails, I'm going to take my little mat and just press in the center, and that will kind of pull it up a little. All right. So I think, let's see, we have a big one up here. We have this one is here. And then you have two holly leaves. You have one in the top. It's going to go there, and you have one that's going to come off there. And you have these two other regular looking leaves. Those are going to go on this big poinsettia. And then we're going to fill in with these little flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff down, then we'll come back and fill in. Yeah. All right. So now we have these other little flowers. So we have two white ones and two green with with no lines. Then you have two red ones with lines and two green ones. So I'm going to put 
grew in the centers of solid flowers. And then the red goes on the green and the green goes on the white. And there's really no right or wrong way. You can offset these petals. You can lay it um, flat down on there. And I did not do what I said I was gonna do. There we go. Quickly before it dries. Gotta love wet glue. So those are ready and I'm going to just tuck those in. I have one flower down here, one of the white and green ones, the larger one. Tuck that in right there. And then I have two red. As well. I'm going to put that last red one down here with this holly. All right. Now I need to put the pearls in the center. Now these are like a on a string kind of like a string of pearls. I'm going to take an exacto knife and just slice away slice them in half. And then I like to put them on the edge of my exacto knife like so and then just lay them on the flower. that card is completed. Okay, our next card is Seasons Greetings. Okay, so we're going to start with the black onto the white card base. Okay, then you have this green piece with the leaves, or the trees. So if you put it about right here, it's gonna be even on the top and both sides, but there's gonna be more on the bottom. Then we're gonna be just fine with that piece. So I'll go ahead and put that on. Then you have this um, cream colored piece here, and all I'm gonna ask you to do is take some scissors and freehand cut the whole side. So I'm not doing anything fancy. I just round it off the top. If you're uncomfortable with that, you can take a pencil and draw it out first, but really there's, there's no wrong way to do it. And then I'm going to figure out where I want it. Actually, I'll just put some wet glue on the back and I'll have some wiggle room. And you want the larger portion, this is thin, this is thick. You want the thicker portion at the bottom so you have room for your greeting. That looks good to me. And then one thing I'm gonna do quick before I finish is I added a strip of glue and we're gonna add some more of that frosting glitter on there, so. Kind of looks like snow. And you can be as generous as you want. Any glitter would do. All right. Well, that's good. And while that dries, I'm going to put foam on the back of my card front here. 
Okay, so that piece is ready, but I'm gonna go ahead and build up some of my other stuff first. So one thing I did do with the trees is I ink the edges of them with hickory smoke distress ink. So I have distress ink and a dauber, and I am just gonna go on one side of the tree and it'll create a shadow or the illusion that the sun is really shining on the other side. Okay. And before I glue this front piece on, I'm gonna kind of use it as a guide. I'm gonna take one big tree and one little tree. And I'm gonna glue them down. So I'm gonna put glue back of this tree and it is gonna go, I'm gonna tuck it behind right there if I can. Yep. Okay, there's one tree. And then this little tree is gonna come in the front like so. No, actually, I got a little bit more white showing on this card than I do in this one. So that's why my tree isn't coming to the edge, but that's okay. We'll fix that with the mama deer. All right, so then what we're gonna do is I have her peeking from the back side like so, but we don't need all of her. So you can bring her in here and decide how much of this deer do you want showing. And I'm just gonna cut off her back legs and glue her down. I went right there. And then the baby deer goes on the back on the hill. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him on. And so far all these things are flat. I tucked his legs in behind, they're so tall. All right, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the backing of this and glue it down. I'm good at where it's not trying to curl in. Nice it over the top. All right, so we have the frame on. Now we're gonna finish with this tree and this deer. Okay, so I'm gonna put this tree, but I'm gonna put them on foam. So I'm gonna just, I want it to be in line with um, the frame. So I'm gonna tuck it behind like this. It'll be right there. And then I'm gonna glue the deer right onto the front. Okay. Just like so. And then we're gonna finish with the greeting and the snowflakes. So I'm just gonna put some glue on that. And I'm okay with covering up my deer legs. And this piece looks like it's cut a little long, so I'm just trim off the edges there. All right, and then you can get your snowflakes and finish off this card. So I have three up here in the top right, and then here, here, and here. Oops, that is a piece of wax paper. You may have those on your snowflakes. We use them to help things pop out. So you may wanna make sure you get that off. Not all of them are gonna have it, but some of them will.
Now when those dry, one thing I did do was um, I used a quickie glue pen. I'm not gonna do it just yet because my, I used too much glue and it's everywhere. But you're gonna take this quickie glue pen out and go over the snowflakes and then add some more of that frosting glitter and um, I'll add a little bit more sparkle to your card. So with that, that card is finished. Two more cards here. These will go together pretty quickly. Also, no more coloring. So, get our pieces out. So, we're going to start with this red plaid piece. And I'm going to glue it to the top of the card. And then you have this piece here, and it's going to line up with the bottom. Okay. And then we have Merry Christmas. So you have this strip here that's going to go at the bottom. So I guess you're going to want to put that on first, and then we can place Merry Christmas. Yep, we're going to have plenty of room. All right. So that goes at the bottom. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the, I'm going to lay the Christmas down first. I'm just going to punch out all the little bits. And on this one, we're going to use a rhinestone for the eye so we didn't have to keep track of that dot. All right. So I'm going to put the Christmas down. That's good. And then we'll do the Mary. All right. And then the trees. So you have a lot of trees cut out of just this, um, and they may have some wax paper on them. That just helps the dies release, the die cuts release. And you just peel that off and toss it. And so I'm gonna line up, I'm gonna go big little, big little. So this one in front and has popped up. And then this one, then we have this one's tucked behind, then this one's in front, this one behind, and this one in front. So you're going to start by putting all the, um, the white ones on first. So I'm going to pop up this big one on the end. And this big one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue these guys down because they might be behind the right there. Peel off the backing of this. All right. And this one gets glued straight down. Okay, I'm not sure if my camera caught this last card that we created. I hope it did. You're gonna line up all the white trees first. Um, and and then you're going to place the these three green trees on top of the white and i kind of pull them down a little bit so you get that effect of snow sitting on the trees i have one more card here i want to get it finished up this will be fairly simple the hardest part will be the fussy cutting so you have this um, sheet of paper here and what you're going to do 
is just simply fussy cut, leave a thin white border all the way around. So I'll be right back when I'm finished with that. Okay, I have finished fussy cutting those poinsettias, so that's what it looks like. And we're gonna go ahead and put this together. We're gonna put down the gold cardstock onto the white card base. And before we put this on, we are going to, so you have this piece of vellum with a sentiment embossed and it already is folded once. So that fold is gonna go around this side. Okay. And we're gonna kind of use, and kind of figure out where it's gonna sit. And this is, is a little bit bigger. So you're gonna pull it off like that. So it comes down about a half an inch from the top, if that's helpful. That's what I'm gonna, just wanna make sure my placement was good. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. And then what I'm gonna do is, um, Fold the other side over and then it, it wraps around nice and then we'll go ahead and glue this on to the shiny gold card cardstock making sure it's opening the right way all the thin border and that cardstock slippery so you want to make sure it's got a good seal before you start moving around too much. And then this piece is gonna line up with the, um, the edge of the plaid paper. So it looks like I need to trim a little bit. So you might wanna use a straight trimmer for that. I'm gonna be brave and snip off a little. And I need a little bit more. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna pop this up. All right, so now I have all the backing off the foam. I'm gonna line up the poinsettias with the... All right, so I put my poinsettias onto that plaid and that finishes up that card. If you wanna add some glitter to the flower centers to dress it up a little, you could. Otherwise, this card is finished. And so is our video today. These are the cards we created. I'm. Thankful that you watched today and um, we'll see you next time.